what's up guys it's Charles media buyer for Pearl Lemon um, just gonna quickly go over from where we left off so we're just gonna talk about how um, real-time bidding works um, so I have some notes here this is um, very easy stuff that you can get on Google Help Center but I'm just gonna also give some scenarios. I'm just gonna read out from myself here. Uh, just a scenario I just I just came up with. Um, couldn't put up the notes here, but um, I'll just go with it as you're reading this with me. So with real-time bidding, your network can receive and review pre-filtered inventory to establish and execute bids. And remember, guys, we did give a definition of what real-time bidding in Google Ads is. Uh, we were just basically talking about automatic auctioneering of your ad placements. So this is more to do with smart bidding of your ads on the Google platforms, on the search engines, basically. So there's a lot that goes into it, but it's a it's a pretty easy, uh, effortless um, process if you, um, you know, just get to understand it. Um, so basically, um, you know, obviously, uh, you need to. There, there are certain parameters to uh, RTB um, or real-time bidding or smart bidding. Um, firstly, um, you need to choose uh, a smart bidding strategy uh, like maximize conversions or target CPA to leverage your RTB. Okay, I'll, I'll refer RTB as a real-time bidding. So that you you don't get confused, and then the other requirement is you need to have sufficient data. So your campaign needs enough data um, on users and conversions for you know the smart bidding algorithm, um, which which obviously uses AI right uh, to work effectively. So um, basically, um, you know. Um, Google also respects the data entrusted by ad manager publishers as a buyer using RTB you are bound by the RTB section of the buyer policy so there are some policies that you also need to go through and these things are provided by Google guys uh, just go go on Google Center you know sometimes don't don't get stuck because everything is there for people to um, to actually um, you know go through and yeah um, let's just see view and edit uh, real-time bidding settings um, so obviously um, this will be happening within your you know your campaign but we're not gonna go over that now I'm just gonna share with you an example of um, right of real-time bidding so let's just say for example right you own an uh, uh an e-commerce store right and you're selling um let's just say sneakers high-end sneakers right and remember we mentioned about your parameters right you need to also have a goal right your goal is to maximize conversions let's just say you're con you're maximizing conversions but also you're also targeting a certain cpa so let's just say for example fifty dollars right so what are the steps that you need to do to implement real-time bidding in google ads right so first thing obviously is to um you need to choose a smart bidding strategy right so could be target cpa and with our example obviously um, you know that's what we're going for that's our bidding strategy and this strategy it utilizes real-time bidding to automatically adjust bids in real time based on the likelihood of conversion aiming to reach your target cpa of 50 dollars which is just so cool just so amazing and secondly the second step right is to optimize campaign settings for RTB so ensure your campaign has 
at least 30 conversions in the last seven days and 1000 impressions in the last 30 days to provide enough data for the AI. All right. Uh, you need to take down these knots, guys. And on that second step, I have another point. You also need to set up conversion tracking to accurately measure conversions and optimize beads. It's quite clear, right? Thirdly, just on that second step, you also need to target relevant demographics, interests, and keywords specific to high-end sneaker buyers. And then fourthly, <laughs> or fourth, whichever, however you want to put it, you need to also set a realistic campaign budget and consider manual bidding adjustments for specific devices or locations, allowing real-time bidding to adjust bids within those limits. And this this will also help. Uh, remember, we we spoke about lo um, location discrep uh, discrepancies, right? Um, by also doing this real-time bidding, um, you know, uh, adjusting for specific devices and locations, this is another way of also fixing those location discrepancies so that your ad uh, does not appear in um, in excluded areas or locations. Um, then Another third step that you need to implement when doing real-time bidding strategy, apart from choosing a smart bidding strategy, optimizing your campaign settings real -time, uh, for real-time bidding, another third one is to monitor and analyze performance. So this is just basic in any campaign, right? Um, whatever action that you choose, you need to also track and monitor performance of that action. So you need to track your campaign performance closely, monitoring metrics like conversion, CPA, ROAS, and impression share, which are part of the main um, metrics that we want to look at when we're doing real-time bidding. So take note of this, conversions, CPA, or um, uh, ROAS, or impression share. And then analyze bidding reports to understand the factors influencing your beads and identify part, uh, patterns, right? For example, you might see higher beads during peak shopping hours or for higher high intent keywords, right? And then lastly, if your CPA consistently exceeds $50, right? Consider adjusting your, your target CPA slightly higher or analyzing your targeting and landing page to optimize for better conversion rates. So other additional tips, right? You need to use audience insights provided by Google Ads to refine your targeting and understand your ideal customer, right? And basically, um, you also need to leverage automation features like ad scheduling and responsive search search ads to further optimize your campaign for real-time performance. Consider testing different smart bidding strategies like maximize conversions or target ROAS if your initial results with target CPA aren't meeting your expectations. So guys, um, just remember to also, you know, this this is a continuous learning process. You need to be always be on guard. So you can't just set your, your real-time strategy and then you leave your campaign. You need to monitor the performance of the campaign and make adjustments in real time. So with that, guys, I'm done for today. I hope this was very helpful. Um, some of this stuff, obviously, uh, you wouldn't really understand the language, uh, but I'm hoping that if you also... Uh, go through these things doing your research like we do at here at, at Pearl Lemon. We um, focus on excellency and of um, distribution of information. So we want to make sure that you have enough information. But thanks to Google that we also have all this information um, to available at our, uh, at, at, at our uh, at our doorstep. So you can just easily access all this information. Um, you know and get the, the the information and the understanding in your own way and just put it across to you know to the clients give them you know their campaigns um, um, give them a successful campaign basically so 
yeah thank you very much guys see you on the next video cheers